transformation, specifically reflection, and when the line of reflection is diagonal. What is it? Process that manipulates a polygon on a plane or coordinate system. Why? Helps in construction. Interesting fact. The largest species of tarantula is the Goliath bird eater. And these are the two examples that we're going to be dealing with today. So let's go ahead and get started. And let's read the steps uh, so that we know how to do it. Step one, pick a vertex and count to the line diagonally. Step two, pick another vertex and do the same. Step three, continue until the last one. And once again, let's talk about the vocabulary that you may need to know. Pre-image is your old image. And you can think of prehistoric, pre for, bef uh, for before. Then you have your image, which is your new. You guys go ahead and read the question. Reflect the pre-image across the line of reflection and plot the points. Well, we already have the points for the pre-image, so let's, now let's go ahead and find the points for the image. So go ahead and get started, but, and we're going to go ahead and start with the letter A. And we're going to go ahead and pick A, the vertex, and start counting diagonally. Uh, and it's 1, as you can see your blue line, or light blue line, and let's continue. So we're at 2, and now we're at 2 and a half. Okay, we, we, we counted to the diagonal line. Now let's count across the diagonal line on the opposite side. So we have half, one and a half, and two and a half. So now we plotted A prime, which is one, negative one. Now you may be wondering why are we saying A prime? Well, we have to be able to tell the difference between the, the pre-image and the image. And the way we, we do that is with the apostrophe right after A, and that prime tells us that we are talking about the image. Okay, let's, now let's go ahead and start with the next one, which is B. So we've, as you see, we've counted, uh, that is one space diagonally, and we have to go an, another half, so we are one and a half away from the diagonal line. So now let's go ahead and count one and a half away from uh, the diagonal line. So we have half, we have one, now we have B prime, which is ne negative one, negative one. Now let's go ahead and get started with C, but as you can see, C prime, and C are actually the same point because the C is on the diagonal line. So, so we don't have to go anywhere. So it's lucky for us. Now we've plotted all three points. So let's go ahead and plot our image. And there we have it. Okay. Now you may be wondering, why is our image not, uh, not, not directly to the right of it? Well, let's go ahead and connect the vertexes to, to the opposite image. Okay, now let's go ahead and rotate our coordinate grid so that the diagonal line is vertical. You can also do it horizontal, uh, but uh, we're going to do it uh, vertically this time. Okay, so as you can see, the bottom two images are straight across from each other. Okay, you can think of yourself like a, uh, if you're standing yourself in front of a mirror. So if you stand yourself in front of a mirror and you look uh, in the mirror, the image, which is... Uh, the reflection in the mirror is straight across. Okay, so that is why the the image is diagonally and the pre-image is on the bottom after we rotate the image. Okay, so now we can see that uh, the image needs to be a little bit to uh, diagonally and not straight across. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at example two. Uh, same type of question. We already have our pre-image. So let's go ahead and reflect it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with A. As you can see, we've counted, we're counting diagonally. We've already at one, and we're gonna to count to the line, so we're at one and a half. Okay, so now we count one and a half away from the line, so we're at a half, and one and a half, and we have A prime, which is one, three. So let's go ahead and get started with B. We're at one diagonally, and let's go ahead and start counting even more. So we're at two diagonally, and next we're at two and a half diagonally. Okay, so now we counted to the line, so let's count away from the line. So we're at half, one and a half, and two and a half. So now we have B prime, which is three, three. And now we have to find C prime using C. And luckily for us, it's only, it's only one away from the diagonal line. And now we count one away from the diagonal line as well. So C prime is three, zero. So now all you have to do is add the image by connecting the dots, and there we have it. Okay, now you may be wondering why is it not straight across? Well, if you, uh, the image is not even gonna be 
they, uh, on the screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect the vertices just to show you what is happening. And now we're going to go ahead and rotate the image so that our diagonal line is vertically. Uh, so that so now we can see it why it, it needs to be uh, diagonally in your in the previous image. Okay, so once again, if you look at yourself in a mirror, and it needs to be straight across, and that is why uh, the yellow is your correct one and the other one is not. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put it back and as you can see that it, this is our correct answer and now let's go ahead and challenge yourself and see if you can get it correct so go ahead and pause the video so you can take your time to answer the question and I will give you and I'll show you the answer in three two and one here we have it if you got it correct well done if you didn't there's always tomorrow